Well, I came out with absolution, but yes. I never, I never pitched that because I was told if you ask, they're going to tell you no. So yeah. don't ask. Right. So I decided I had my nephew make me that Lenny Lane bottle. It said Lane endorsements, products, absolution. I thought I'm going to try to get real lean here and pretend this is kind of like, almost like, uh, was it arrogance that Rick Martel uh, used? Yeah. The, the perfume. Yeah. That's so I, that was going to be my win. You know, maybe if I start using this spray, I can spray in somebody's face and maybe I'll try to get my abs better every week. And so I started bringing the absolution. And of course that was my fault not to tell the announcers because they didn't know at first when I was bringing it out. And so <laughs> I'd bring it out and it was just kind of like separated me a little bit. Right. I was feeling yeah. like, this separates me a little bit from just coming out here and losing because if I'm watching at home, Oh, here comes Lane Lane. He loses every match. Once in a while, he wins a Saturday night. But, man, you know, so I brought that just to say, you know, kind of as my own little thing. And, of course, that went over for about three weeks till I got brought in the office. And they said, why do you bring that ab stuff out there? I go, and I told them just what I just told you. Right. And they said, no, nah, we'd rather have you come out with a chicken on your head. And I'm like, what? what? You know, so they just kind of poo-pooed on the idea, I guess. But. That was my first pitch to do was absolution. And to tell you the truth, I never pitched any ideas. I just showed up for work and worked hard. I didn't know that's how it worked. I didn't right. know I had to go to somebody and say, hey, this is what I want to do, you know, yeah. until Raven and Diamond Dallas Page came up to me in a nitro one night and they go, Lenny, you're too good to be just doing jobs out here. It was after I actually, I worked with Paige on a nitro. Yeah. And I was the first one to take the di diamond cutter off the top rope. Right. And he said, you're too good to just be doing jobs. You need to think of something for yourself. And I started, wow, you know, oh, you got to think of stuff for yourself. Okay. So that's how I thought of the gay gimmick.